Hello, love. Welcome back. If you're new, my name is Jennifer Laurel Keller, and I'm an artist and instructor. But what I really do is help people connect to their souls through nature and art. In this video, I'm going to share my new studio, and then I'll show you some of the latest pieces that I've made. Over the years, I've had a few studio spaces, but during the majority of the pandemic, I was working from home in my dining room. And I have to say that I'm pretty proud of how much I was able to accomplish in that tiny room. I created over 25 Skillshare classes and I made a lot of paintings and mixed media works. My skills improved and I sold quite a few pieces but I also made a huge mess and I was starting to ruin the room with paint splatter and drips, but you know, that's life as an artist. But it was clear that I was outgrowing the room despite my due diligence to declutter and keep things organized. So one day I just decided, you know what? I actually do need a bigger studio. So I asked around to a few artist friends and a couple of studios were opening up in the same building where my friend Michelle Cordova has her studio. So I set up a meeting and viewed the spaces, but they were twice the size that I needed and twice the budget. So I told the landlord what I preferred to spend and he said, let me talk to one of the tenants. They've been talking about moving up to a larger space and lo and behold, they decided to move leaving behind the perfect studio for what I was looking for. And it's a great price for the current market. Everything was settled fairly quickly, and in just a couple of weeks, I had the key. I started moving in on January 1st, so new year, new studio. I wanted to keep things low maintenance with the move. I already had a lot of the furnishings, but now I get to spread out, and there's more open space. Uh, nothing is so heavy that I can't move it by myself, which I prefer because even though I love furniture and hardwood vintage pieces with character, having things be flexible for working or teaching is important to me. So my projects require a lot of movement. So I like to be able to scoot over a table or my easel at a moment's notice. I also want to have the space evolve naturally. As time goes on, I see myself collecting more interesting visual references and furnishings. Like right now, I have my eyes open for a bar cart where I could have a coffee maker and serve beverages to my visitors. And I'd also like a more comfortable armchair for thinking and staring at art, but nothing too big. I still want to be able to move it by myself Plus, I'm on the second floor and there's no elevator, so it has to be just right.
And so far there's been very little traffic to and from the other studios. I don't really see many of the other tenants. So it's a low key space. But what is bustling is the landlord's other business, Two Rivers Cider. In the same parking lot directly next door, there's a charming cider tasting room and they have live music on the weekends, trivia nights, a fire pit, and sometimes food trucks stop by for the live music nights on the weekends. It's a nice little gathering place tucked right in the middle of Hollywood Park in Sacramento. And I get a very good down-home neighborly feeling about the place. It's very comfortable and casual. Okay, so now you can see on my floating shelf there that I have some new pieces that I painted right before and right after moving in. I have a large forest painting called Redwood Trail and my forest paintings are popular and have been moving quickly. I love doing the filtered light, hitting the forest floor and the paint splatter gives it a fun finishing touch. And after I moved in, I just wanted to feel the freedom of a larger space and do some expressive mixed media abstracts. I always feel like winter is a perfect cozy time to do mixed media. So those were a great little series to break in the new studio. And these pieces are up in my online shop. I will link them down below and you can take a closer look at those. You can check them out on my website or if you prefer to see them in person, you are more than welcome to set up an appointment for a studio visit and you can see any of my work that I have in the studio and we can chat and catch up and you can peruse the artwork and we can even go downstairs for a cider if you like. I'm very excited to host and have visitors. I'm also offering private lessons in the space. We can focus on anything you'd like to learn about in regards to acrylic painting and mixed media collage. Eventually, I will offer workshops with limited seating, but those are not ready to release yet because of the uncertainty of the pandemic. But if you're watching this later in the future and are curious about workshops, swing by my website and see what's being offered. But as of today, I'm just doing private lessons. All right, thank you so much for joining me for this tour of my studio. I'm so looking forward to having you stop by either for a studio visit or an art lesson. You can always email me with questions. And if you're not subscribed to my new YouTube channel yet, please do so because I got locked out of my old YouTube channel and I no longer have access to that admin. Nothing was wrong with my content, but long story short, I lost my login capabilities. So subscribe to my new channel, and you can also subscribe to my e-newsletter with the form that's in the footer on every page of my website. That way you won't miss a thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you over at jenniferlaurelkeller.com. Thanks again. Much love.